how to use AutoDS with Amazon. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is and a very effective to use the dropshipping method using uh, AutoDS and also Amazon. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over AutoDS.com and then you are going simply to sign in for an account in the platform. Uh, here in the description section, we have a link that will uh, let you try out the AutoDS platform for a free certain uh, period of time. So you are going basically to get a free trial within the platform and uh, explore all the features that will be offered from the platform. So the AutoDS platform will uh, be the sourcing, um, let's say, platform for the product. So if you want to start or uh, uh, begin from scratch or from zero uh, on uh, the uh, drop shipping domain or the print on demand domain, the AutoDS platform is the all in one solution for you. So it will contain right there is, uh, some tools. And also, you can go ahead and get at the right suppliers to set up your product. You can go ahead and see that we have some handpicked product tools. And we have the add supply to the current products. As you can see, also, you're going to uh, take advantage of that to make sure that you're going to make the most uh, gaining or the most trending product on Amazon. Because Amazon is a very large marketplace that nearly doesn't need a campaign or a uh, ad campaign for products to be sold because uh, we have uh, millions of people that uh, will navigate through the Amazon. So all of the uh, products, nearly not all, nearly all the products will be shown also highlighted for the customers. So depending on the recommendation of the customers, they will see here the products and also they will search for the certain keywords. So make sure that you are going to get uh, some trending products or some uh, valuable keywords that you are going to sell. So in order right there to connect the two platforms, you need a Amazon seller central account because here you need to be a seller on Amazon to start selling or drop shipping in the platform. So you're going to uh, provide the Amazon Seller Central about your business. So you are going to provide some uh, legal documents, some IDs, and uh, also uh, the uh, financial uh, documents. After that, you're going simply to head over to the AutoDS. And then we are going to click on the account section when we have or where we have the pen tool. You're going to see here the list of the store that we have. Currently, I have only selected or connected a Shopify store. So if you want to add a uh, Amazon store or Amazon account, you're going to click on add store. And after that, you're going to see all of the store types. We have the Shopify, the eBay, the Amazon one. Here we have the Facebook store, uh, the Wix store, WooCommerce and TikTok shop. Obviously, we are going to select your Amazon store and click on continue. Then we're going to head over to the plans add-on. So you need to take an extra charge to set up an Amazon store. So you're going simply to set up here the uh, starter pack, for example, or the import 200. You're going to read over right there the, um, uh, the features that each one of the plans have. As you can see here, we have a table of comparison for each one of the plans. You are going to choose one of the plans, obviously, and then you are going simply to start from here. So after you have set that, you are going to uh, see it right there. So if you don't have or you don't see here the button or the stores, you're going to click on settings and then you are going simply to see here the, um, uh, the store setting. You're going to select the store setting. So you are going to add another store and then you are going simply to add the Amazon store. So you can get ahead right there and set up the uh, product from the marketplace. So it is the same process for each one of the uh, 
uh, stores so if you have a, a shopify store it is the same thing that you are going to import obviously you are going to select a product or you can go ahead and search for any of the keywords that you are you have in mind or you can go ahead and use the tools for example such as the trend products but here is the most uh, inconvenient thing that i uh, i think that is existing on AutoDS is the hub add-on so i have a, a subscription right there and also it is going to demand for me to get the uh, product finding hub or the add-on so you need to confirm the uh, buy-in of here so you are going to get up something which is going to be paid and uh, not for free actually so for the hand-picked products you're going to see here some products and also some statistics as you can see here we have some uh, potential statistics of the product you're going to see the number of orders we have the potential profits the uh, being sold items you can see here if the product is a bro key or it is a very active product you're going to see here the engagement score of the product the saturation so each one of this is indexed as you can see for the engagement score you are going to see here that the product has 80 points so whenever a product here exceed or uh, the 60 point plus you're going to make this as a very active product but for the saturation it is going to be a score of 60 points so it is going to be a busy market so here at the uh, more or the less saturation score the product will get the more of the emptiness on the market or you are going to fill that gap so obviously you are going to make or the, be the first person that will introduce that product to the market so you need to set up here a proportion of the engagement score which is going to be uh, at least 60 or plus and a saturation score uh, below let's say here 40 so you are going to set it like that now uh, for this one you're going to set uh, or add the product so you can go ahead and select the product and then you are going to see the description as you can see here we have some uh, details about the product you are going to see some competitors on the uh, here uh, on the page and we have here a bench body from shopify here we have a mid curve uh, i think it is from shopify's but it is uh, set to another uh store or another domain so if you want to visit the store you can go ahead and get the product from that store so you are going to get a comparison of it and etc so that was for this one so i'm going to use or search for this one uh, as you can see the price or the final price of the product is going to be shown right there and also you're going to see the uh, saturation and etc you can go ahead and get some social ads or some uh, examples of the ads that are running on the uh, social media we have the TikTok or the facebook you can see the original ad from here you can go ahead and see uh, the competitors it will give you at least three or four or five competitors you're going to see here the prices the platform of them so as you can see here we have uh, for example left or left on right there we have a very good store that has been created from Shopify. It will go ahead and put a very good demonstration right there and etc. So you can go ahead and uh, imitate not completely the uh, this store, but you are going simply to um, make some modification to your store if it is going to be a little bit ugly. So right there, aside from that, you're going to make all of this, but here you are going to uh, play on uh, the big market which is uh, the amazon so you are not going simply to get some uh here random uh buying pages or product page so i'm going to visit here one of the uh, products um pages so you are going simply to see here that we have a standard uh, amazon page which is a very successful page that will help you to get everything in order so nothing here is going to be obliged for you to uh, make aside from the design it is going to be standard and universal so you need a uh, description which is going to be provided with the uh, rds 
uh, you are going to have a price, a drop shipping price, obviously, and also a filling or not a filling, but a shipping solution that is going to be here provided also from AutoDS. So you are going to get the supplier from AutoDS, the shipping profiles from AutoDS, and the final step is going to be you and also creating a store or selling the product into the Amazon store or the Amazon marketplace by creating an Amazon seller account. So you're going to uh, here set up the Amazon and then you're going simply to sell your products and also benefit from a lot of advantages that Amazon will give you. Don't forget to get your link right now in the description section to try out the AutoDS by getting a free trial period. So that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.